Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download Windows 11 23H2 ISO after 24H2 release. But before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just on this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering how to exactly download Windows 11 23H2 ISO here, which is an older version of Windows 11. So we all know every time an update is released for Windows, uh, any kind of Windows here especially, uh, the uh, Download assistant here, like the file they usually uh, install, like the media creation file, usually uses the latest version of Windows. But if you want to download or use the older version of Windows 11, well, it will be kind of different because you will be you need to get this on a different uh, platform in order for you to install it because they don't offer this on uh, Microsoft themselves. But yeah, so first is you want to go to the fish, uh, to this uh, web page here, or in this case, this website, which is uupdump.net. And what you need to do is you want to go to the uh, search here, go to Windows, and you want to choose whichever current version of Windows 11 that you want to download. So uh, the least one here right now is, I think is like 25H2 dev, but since we're looking for the 23H2 here, just look for 23H2, click on it, and you should be able to see like different uh, download files here. Now, in this case, you want to make sure that the architecture here are correct. So if you have like Intel or AMD, uh, X64 is going to be the one that you're looking for. But unless you have like an ARM64, um, in this case, uh, setup, you may need to use this one. But then again, usually you just need to use the X64 here. Just go ahead and click on the build here. Now, by the way, make sure to choose the latest uh, build here that you currently see right now. Let's go ahead and click on it. And what we need to do is you want to go to uh, want to go and choose your language here, and let's go and click on next. And from here, you want to go and just choose your edition, so Windows Home or Pro here, and you can go and just click on next. Now next is you want to go and set up a few things here. So first is you want to choose download and convert to ISO, and you want to choose the option here for conversion options. So make sure include updates and run computer cleanup is enabled, and just click on create download package. Now, once you've done that, it should download the file or in this case, folder itself. Now, what you need to do is you want to make sure that you extract this one. Let's go and right click on it and uh, you want to go and click on extract all. And you want to choose where, whichever you want to extract this. Like, so if I click on extract here next to our folder here. And as you can see, there's now a folder. Let's go and click on it and we now have this set up. But the thing with this one is didn't download an ISO file here. Instead, we are uh, we've downloaded the files to download the actual ISO or the actual ISO from uh, Windows uh, official or in this case Microsoft official servers. So in this case, we need to do a few things from this file here. So what you need to do is you want to look for UUP underscore download underscore Windows dot CMD, and you want to right click on it and you just want to click on Run as Administrator. Now from here, you want to go ahead and click on More Info and just click on Run anyway. And from here, it's going to ask uh, for permission for Windows command processor. So let's go and answer yes here. It's going to give you this one. So in this case, uh, you uh, do not run, run one, suspend, or help. So in this case, uh, it's going to ask you if you want to uh, run the script. So let's go ahead and uh, click or enter R here and press enter to run this one. So it's going to start the download process. So this might take a while, so just wait for it to finish. But to be speaking, it should download or start the download process uh, for uh, the ISO file. So let's go and go back here. But to be speaking, once it's actually done, uh, you should see another screen here and you should see an ISO file in your downloads folder. So uh, yeah. So the download will take a while here. So once it's actually done, you should see an ISO file in this folder here. And you can just use it in whatever way you want. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.